Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I was uh, talking to you guys about the mini bike and how I didn't like the blue color. Well, I may have come up with a solution. And today, we're gonna see if we can make that solution happen. So when you look at the bike, the blue is just so annoying to me. Anyhow, we've got a box here. Let's get it open and see what we got inside. By the way, guys, I had to resort to something that I didn't want to do. And you could kind of see why from that guy driving by in the truck there, just staring and... Um, yeah, hated to have to do this, but way too many walk-ins and was um, getting carried away. However, it doesn't work very well because people just walk right past it. So I'm not sure what else I can do to alleviate that problem aside from putting up a shade sail uh, across the doorway when I'm out here working, which is flammable. So if I'm welding, that's not gonna really be a good thing. But anyhow, let's get this box open. Now, like I said before, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I, uh, I'm going out on a limb and I was just guessing when I purchased this. If it does work, that'll be great. If it doesn't, well, we're back to the drawing board. But the blue has got to go and I don't want to paint it because when you do that and gasoline or fuel gets on it, it just ruins the paint. So I couldn't find black, but what I could find was a nice racer red. <laughs> so this is what we got. And I had to find one that had the electric start uh, cut out on it. So I think red will match the bike and the personality of the bike a lot better. So yeah. Hopefully that fits on there with it. I don't know what this thing is. I don't think it's on the original one, but uh, I'm definitely hoping that this will fit on there. Let's give it a shot.
red cover didn't fit it was too big it was for a bigger motor so my search will continue for that um, I ran the bike out of fuel you may have noticed that in the GoPro footage there that was kind of fun I was trying to figure out what was going on but yeah this little this little GPS thing this is awesome I will leave a link in the description one more time for that. It was in a previous episode of this build series, but uh, it works great. You can read your speed right from that screen. Uh, the charging system works great. I burnt up uh, one of the cheap tiny rectifiers, and then I put this bigger one on that uh, I found on Amazon. I will leave a link to it, and it's handling the amperage just fine. Uh, tires were a bit squirrely at first, so I came home, aired them all the way up to the seat beating pressure, which is 36 pounds, and let them sit for a minute, and then I pulled the core out, and then refilled them back to 12 PSI, and now they seem to be fine, so. Um, yeah, I don't know how much further I'm going to go with the build series on this, because about the only thing left that I have is just a different cover and uh, I'm pretty happy with this build. If you guys appreciated this build or like this series, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. This is a really fun project, something easy to do, it's inexpensive, and uh, it's a lot of fun. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I will catch you next time. See you later, bye-bye.